The Conservatives at this time are the only party who are going to deliver Brexit. And could you consider voting for them? And on that I could consider voting for them because of that. All my friends are working class people. We're all working class people, mainly in Barrow. But a lot of my friends think the Conservatives are the ones with brains. And sometimes they're very... To, be, to put it bluntly, they, they think they're a pack of bastards, the way they, they treat people, but they think they've got the brains. I, I, I don't think people see the left as, as being smart people at the moment. I've worked since the age of 14. I work long hours and I put everything I've got into it. I don't expect anything handed to me. Yeah, but I do know people that's actually said to me, I am actually yeah. better off being on the dole. So oh, why, why should I work? I have voted Labour all my life, but I don't think I will in the next election. I'm swaying towards Theresa May. I think she's a strong woman. I think she'll get more backing from her party than Jeremy Corbyn will. I think she's very patriotic. I think she wants the country to be better, and I think she cares about what normal people, everyday people that go to work nine to five, that have to do all the stuff that we don't like. I think she cares about what they think and she wants to make that better for them. So as somebody that has voted Labour all their life, is it fair to say that you might think about voting Conservative? Yes. If, if they're the ones that are going to get the job done, absolutely. With Brexit? Yeah. I'm looking for a party that tells me the truth, that not only talks the talk, but walks the walk. At the moment, um, I, I, I'll be honest with you, I, I am a Labour man. Theresa May, yep, yeah, I'm not saying I, I, I like I like the cut of a jib, she's, she's saying the right things, but I, I don't think I could actually pull myself out pull myself to vote Tory at this point in time. Having said that, I've got to be honest with you, Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour Party, if there was ever a time in the Labour Party's existence, now is the time for unity. And it's just not there. Everybody in the country can see it. There's no way that the, the establishment, the media and the establishment, are going to allow a left of centre government get into power. You know, the Cor media perception of Corbyn is, is disgraceful. He, he, he doesn't stand up for himself. If Corbyn was my MP in Barrow, I would vote for him as a constituency MP, but I don't think I've supported him in his views in the government because I, I think he's too wishy-washy. Brexit's obviously the, uh, issue. the issue, and I think it's, it's, it's very confusing. I think the electorate will be confused as to uh, whether well, they would vote for the natural allegiances because May, what she said on the streets of Downing Street was a, a, was a very, if she had been a Labour Prime Minister, I would have been very pleased with it. Um, what do you mean by that? Because I thought it was a very... Um, this is when she became Prime Minister? When she became Prime Minister, yeah. When, you know, she was going to look after the ones who were only just managing. Um, and that the actions uh, will be so much different from, from the words, but it's going to take time for that to come through and for the electorate to see that is that they don't really mean that. They've got to look after their own like they always look after their own. The working class people now are changing. They don't want to be classed as working class. It, 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 that's it, it's gone. We are a small island, but we're miles apart you know from the southern end to the northern end and miles apart in the thinking sometimes <laughs>